Hello everyone, this is Yakalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters method. So I'm going to show you how to solve the problem using variation of parameters method in three different ways, that is in three different parts. So let's begin with part one. Problem solve y double dash plus y equal to one by one plus sine x or d squared plus one into y equal to one by one plus sine x using variation of parameters method. So here we are given a differential equation of order two, right? Given differential equation. y double dash plus y equal to 1 by 1 plus sine x. Consider this equation as equation number 1. We can write y double dash as d square y by dx square plus y equal to 1 by 1 plus sine x. Right? And we can write d square y by dx square as capital D square y using differential operator d. Now take y common from the two terms of LHS, we'll get d square plus 1 into y equal to 1 by 1 plus sine x, which is an operator form. Consider the equation as equation number 2 is so of the form f of d into y equal to some function of x, where f of d is d square plus 1 and the function of x is 1 by 1 plus sine x, right? Where f of d is d square plus 1 and r of x is 1 by 1 plus sine x, right? Let's now write the homogeneous equation of equation 2. The homogeneous equation of 2 is d square plus 1 into y equal to 0. Consider this equation as Equation number 3. Now we'll find the solution to homogeneous equation using the auxiliary equation and later using the solution of homogeneous equation we'll find the general solution of equation 1 and 2. Okay. Now coming to the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we have f of d, d square plus 1, right? Let's replace the differential operator with m, so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 1, and the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 1 equals to 0. From this, we'll get m square equals to minus 1, then m equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1, since square root of minus 1 is i, so we'll get m equal to plus or minus i, a pair of complex conjugate roots. Right? M equal to plus or minus i are the complex conjugate roots of the auxiliary equation. We know that when M equal to a plus or minus i b, the solution of homogeneous equation looks like y equal to e power a x into one constant into cos b x plus another constant into sin b x, right? In case of a0, we'll have e power 0 into x, which is e power 0 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx. Since e power 0 is 1, so we'll get 1 of c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx. From this, we'll get y equal to c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx, right? Now coming to our solution of homogeneous equation. The solution to homogeneous equation is y equal to 
Now just compare m equal to plus or minus i with plus or minus i b. Then for b equal to 1, we'll have y equal to c3 cos 1x plus c4 sin 1 into x or 1x. Which is equals to c3 cos x plus c4 sin x. Therefore, y equal to c3 cos x plus c4 sin x is the solution to the homogeneous equation. Now using this solution, we'll write the general solution of equation 1 and 2. Let y equal to, just replace the constants of parameters with functions of x, a and b. Then you'll get y equal to a cos x plus b sin x be the general solution of the given equation or given equations of 1 and 2 where a and b are functions of x. Right? So here we are saying that y equal to a cos x plus b sin x is the general solution of equation 1 and 2. So we can say that this is the solution to equation 1, right? So it satisfies equation 1. So let's find y double dash and later substitute y double dash and y in equation 1. Okay? Let's find y dash and y double dash now. We have y equal to a cos x plus b sin x, right? Let's find y dash. y dash equals to a cos x whole dash plus b sin x whole dash. Here we are having two functions, right? Let's use u v whole dash formula, which is u dash v plus v dash u. We need to apply this formula here. We'll get a dash cos x plus a into cos x whole dash plus b dash sin x plus b into sin x whole dash, right? This equals to a dash cos x plus a into derivative of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x plus b dash sin x plus b into derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. This gives us a dash cos x plus into minus minus a sin x plus b dash sin x plus b cos x. Now write the terms involving a dash and b dash. We have a dash cos x plus b dash sin x. Now write the terms involving a and b. Minus a sin x plus b cos x. Okay. Let a dash cos x plus b dash sin x equals to 0. Consider it as equation number 4. So that while finding y double dash, a double dash and b double dash will not appear. Right. Then y dash becomes 0 minus a sin x plus b cos x which is equals to minus a sin x plus b cos x. So we got y dash, right? y dash equals to minus a sin x plus b cos x. And we need this equation 4 to find a dash and b dash later. Okay? Now we are having y dash equals to minus a sin x plus b cos x, right? Let's find y double dash using y dash. We have y dash equals to minus a sin x plus b cos x, right? Let's now find y double dash. y double dash equals to minus of a sin x whole dash plus b cos x whole dash. Right? Here also we need to apply UV whole dash formula. We'll get A dash sin x plus A into sin x dash 
plus b dash cos x plus b into cos x dash. This gives us minus of a dash sin x plus a into derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x plus b dash cos x plus b into derivative of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x. This gives us minus of a dash sin x plus a cos x plus b dash cos x minus b sin x. Right? Let's open the brackets now. Minus a dash sin x minus a cos x plus b dash cos x minus b sin x. Now write the terms involving a dash and b dash firstly. We'll get minus a dash sin x plus b dash cos x minus a cos x. Now write the terms involving a and b. Right? Which is a y double dash. Now we are having y double dash and y. Let's now substitute y double dash and y in equation 1. We have equation 1 y double dash plus y equal to 1 by 1 plus sin x, right? See, equation 2 is an operator form. I mean, the first equation in operator form is our equation 2, okay? Both equations are same. Fine, now coming to the problem. Substitute y and y double dash. We get y double dash is minus a dash sin x plus b dash cos x minus a cos x minus b sin x plus y a cos x plus b sin x equal to 1 by 1 plus sin x right this gives us minus a dash sin x plus b dash cos x minus a cos x minus b sin x plus a cos x plus b sin x equal to 1 by 1 plus sin x. Right? So here minus a cos x plus a cos x gets cancelled minus b sin x plus b sin x gets cancelled and this gives us minus a dash sin x plus b dash cos x equals to 1 by 1 plus sin x. Consider it as equation number 5. Now we are having equation 4 and 5 containing a dash and b dash right. So let's find a dash and b dash by solving equation 4 and equation 5. We have equation 4 and equation 5. We need to find a dash and b dash by solving these two equations. So just notice the first term in equation 4 and in equation 5. In equation 4, we are having a dash cos x and in equation 5, we are having a dash sin x, right? So in order to cancel the terms involving a dash, we need a cos x in the first term of fifth equation and we need a sin x in first term of fourth equation, right? So let's multiply equation 4 with sin x and equation 5 with cos x, right? Solving equation 4 and equation 5. So multiply equation 4 with sin x, we'll get a dash sin x cos x plus b dash sin x into sin x is sin square x equal to 0 minus a dash sin x cos x plus b dash cos x into cos x is cos square x equal to cos x into 1 by sin x is cos x by 1 plus sin x. Right? This gives us here plus a sin x cos x minus a sin x I mean a dash sin x cos x gets cancelled and we'll get b dash sin square x plus b dash cos square x equal to cos x by 
1 plus sin x, right? Now take b dash common from these two terms, we'll get b dash of sin square x plus cos square x equal to cos x by 1 plus sin x. Since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1, so this becomes 1. Right? This gives us b dash into 1 equal to cos x by 1 plus sin x. From this we'll get b dash equals to cos x by 1 plus sin x. So we got b dash. Now by substituting b dash in equation 4 we'll get a dash. We have equation 4 a dash cos x plus b dash sin x equal to 0. Now we need to find a dash, right? I'm taking the second term to RHS, then I'll get a dash cos x equals to minus b dash sin x, right? Then a dash equals to minus 1 by cos x into b dash sin x. Now I'll substitute b dash with cos x by 1 plus sin x, then I'll get a dash equals to minus 1 by cos x of cos x by 1 plus sin x into sin x, where cos x gets cancelled, we'll get minus sin x by 1 plus sin x, right? Therefore, a dash equals to minus sin x by 1 plus sin x. We got a dash and b dash. Let's now find a and b. So let's begin with a dash. Right? See in the denominator we are having 1 plus sin x. So let's multiply and divide with 1 minus sin x. If we replace the plus with minus, we'll get 1 minus sin x, okay? We'll just multiply and divide 1 minus sin x. Then we'll get minus sin x of 1 minus sin x by 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x, which is equal to minus sin x minus into minus plus sin x into sin x sin square x by the denominators of a plus b into a minus b form so we'll get a square minus b square i mean we can write it in a square minus b square form right which is equals to minus sin x plus sin square x by 1 minus sin square x since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 right from this we'll get cos square theta equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So let's replace 1 minus sin square x with cos square x. Then we'll get a dash equals to minus sin x plus sin square x by 1 minus sin square x can be replaced with cos square x. You'll get by cos square x. Now we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So let's split it into two terms. We'll get minus sin x by cos square x plus sin square x by cos square x. Right? Or we can write the first term as minus sin x by cos x into cos x plus sin square x by cos square x can be replaced with tan square x. This equals to, now we can split this as minus sin x by cos x into 1 by cos x, right? The second term remains the same. And we know that sin x by cos x is tan x and reciprocal of cos x is secant x plus tan square x. And now we need to integrate, right? Fine. We can write a dash or a dash is nothing but derivative of a with respect to x. So we'll get dA by dx here. The next step, we are going to separate the variables by taking differential dx to RHS. Then we'll get 
da equal to minus tan x secant x plus tan square x into dx. Okay. Here the variables are separable. So we can perform integration. Integral dA equal to integral of minus tan x secant x plus tan square x into dx. Since we know that integral secant square x dx equals to tan x and integral secant x tan x equal to secant x, right? But in the second term of integrand, we are having tan square x. So we can use the identity 1 plus tan square theta, which is equal to secant square theta. From this, we'll get tan square theta equal to secant square theta minus 1, right? So we can replace tan square x with secant square x minus 1. Then this becomes integral dA equal to minus integral tan x secant x dx plus okay let's simplify it plus just replace tan square x with secant square x minus 1 into dx okay this gives us integral dA equal to minus integral tan x secant x dx plus integral secant square x dx minus integral 1 dx is integral dx. This gives us integral dA a equal to minus integral tan x secant x dx is secant x plus integral secant square x is tan x minus integral dx is x plus integral constant is c1. Okay. Therefore, a equal to minus secant x plus tan x minus x plus c1. Let's now find b using b dash equals to cos x by 1 plus sin x. So we got a equal to minus secant x plus tan x minus x plus c1. Or we can write it as a equal to minus of secant x minus tan x plus x plus c1 okay let's now find b using b dash equals to cos x by 1 plus sin x here b dash is nothing but derivative of b with respect to x now let's separate the variables by taking differential dx to rhs then we'll get db equal to cos x by 1 plus sin x into dx where the variables are separable now we can perform integration integral db equal to integral cos x by 1 plus sin x into dx since we know that integral f dash of x by f of x dx equals to log f of x or log mod f of x if f of x equals to 1 plus sin x, then f dash of x will be derivative of 1 with respect to x is 0 plus derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. So f dash of x is cos x, which is nothing but the integrand is of the form f dash of x, which is cos x by f of x 1 plus sin x. So we can perform or we can apply integral f dash of x by f of x dx formula here. Then we'll get integral db b equal to log mod 1 plus sin x plus some integral constant say c2 or b equal to log of 1 plus sin x plus c2 therefore b equal to log of 1 plus sin x plus c2 we got c uh, sorry we got b and a as well so let's now write the general solution using y equal to a cos x plus b sin x.
therefore the general solution is given by y equal to a cos x plus b sin x let's not substitute a and b we have a minus secant x plus tan x minus x plus c1 into cos x plus b log of 1 plus sin x plus c2 into sin x right this gives us minus secant x cos x plus tan x cos x minus x cos x plus c1 cos x plus sin x log of 1 plus sin x plus c2 sin x right now take cos x common from the first three terms then we'll get or take minus cos x common right we'll have minus of secant x plus sorry minus tan x plus x of cos x plus c1 cos x plus you can write this as log of 1 plus sin x into sin x plus c2 cos x okay sorry c2 sin x or you can just write sin x log of 1 plus sin x okay see here i'm taking cos x common so it looks good when we write sin x outside the bracket this gives us y equal to write the terms involving c1 and c2 firstly we'll get c1 cos x plus c2 sin x now write the remaining terms i'll write minus of secant x minus tan x plus x of cos x plus log of 1 plus sin x into sin x which is the required solution therefore y equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus of sin x minus tan x plus x into cos x plus log of 1 plus sin x into sin x is the required solution so we have seen a problem from variation of parameters method in this video i hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye